my best even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test that I fail so depressed when I can't seem to get out But something deep inside won't let me By thirst, I'm inspired by worth. I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired, you first. I'll write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did, sh I know it hurts. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this. Shit. Tell me that I can't and I won't. That's what guides me the most. Two lies, I'll do what I want. fixing a good change for work just wanted to say it's a good morning when i can make it through my hour of cardio without having to get off and go to the bathroom something about it just gets everything rolling in the morning and me drinking a liter of water makes me have to pee too but it kind of just gets everything moving along so that's my key to going to the bathroom just wanted to let you guys know that but we're fixing to change eat my first meal and get to work my first meal of the day y'all know standard what I normally have. Cream of wheat, one packet with cauliflower rice, um, one scoop of protein powder with some almond butter. So this is my standard everyday like weekday breakfast because it's easy to pack up. I'll make it before I leave it, like leave the house in the morning and then just microwave it when I get here. So it's warm, but so it's just something easy. So I don't really have like eggs or, you know, like a cooked, cooked breakfast because I come to work out first. So anyways, we just eat when we get here but fixing to eat this and get ready for another friday another day at work hopefully to go by fast i'm ready for this weekend but i'll see you guys when i see you what's going on guys we're in the car just got off work finished teaching my group fitness class did a little bit of posing fixing to eat a meal on the way home it's almost 6 45 so i've got this meal and then my every night tradition protein ice cream to eat later but I've just got some green beans, some deer meat, a little bit of feta cheese, like a tablespoon um, is what we had left. And I needed a little bit of fat for the day. So that's just what I put on top. And then I have this massive bag of peppers. No, I'm not eating all of these. This is just my prep peppers and I'll just eat a handful. Um, I did, I mean, I tracked them, you know, so, but I just meal prepped and put it in a Ziploc and I'm just carrying them with me every day instead of measuring them out on and because I don't want to heat them up with my meal. So I'm leaving them like that. But I just want to pick up the camera. I have not filmed this week, of course. Um, it's just been really hard, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling a lot. Um, everything's the same as far as cardio, macros, training. Everything's the same. We haven't changed anything. My weight hasn't dropped a whole lot. I've hit my stage weight. Um but I haven't dropped below it, but I'm seeing a lot other changes. So like veins, striations, my abs are more in, I'm seeing more lines in my legs. Like I'm seeing all these other changes. My weight's just not dropping. And my coach said that too. He's like, I mean, weight's just stubborn at this point. So he's like, but you're still in a deficit. So you're still going to be dropping. So that's a, you know, he always knows how to reassure me even without even saying a whole lot it's just when i check in with him he don't he doesn't have to send me this long message it just i just feel better you know it's like trust the process bethany we're on the right track he didn't give me a refeed or a free meal this week we're just held steady um after i had the burger and fries last week my weight i hit a new low weigh in on saturday i actually weighed below my stage weight so i weighed 138.4 um which i said to y'all in the previous video the full day of eating 
so we did drop below so we're just keeping trucking along my energy is just really bad um but i have been trying to do more things around the house like i've been enjoying my plants and just doing more house stuff trying to be active at home to help get my neat you know keep my neat up and not just sit and not do anything so i'm trying to be active with that and i'm enjoying get, getting things done too so that's a positive but anyways um it's just every day is different i got like over seven hours of sleep last night and i still just been exhausted today like but i think i'm just getting up so early to get everything my training and stuff done that i'm just gonna be tired like just getting up that early anyways but i wanted to give you guys a little update i don't know what we're gonna video i'm just gonna video so we'll see what happens but i'm fixing to head to the gas station to get my diet coke i've started doing that again um it's just a little daily treat just run by and get a fountain i love a fountain drink like better than a bottle so run by get a fountain drink on the way home after work and it just brightens my day so we're fixing to go do that before we go home um so i'll see you guys in a little bit Look at it, don't look at it, don't look at it. What energy drink are we gonna get for tomorrow is the question. So many choices. I've been killing the peach monster. Lately it is phenomenal. And then the rainbow rain. That's kind of what I've been digging as of late. So we're probably gonna get I'm gonna go with the rainbow. This for one day, and then I think I'm gonna do something different. Um, decisions, decisions, very important decision. These only have three carb, along with the, the peach ring, or the peach monster as well. So I'm trying not to have anything over three carbs. Because the white monster, I love it, but it's got six carbs. This stuff matters when you get to this point, just FYI. Y'all know the vibes. secure the goods i went with the rainbow rain and then i got the sour patch kid red berry ghost they only have one gram of carb so that's nice so i got one of those so i have my you know daily pretty much daily trip to the gas station to get energy drinks if i don't get one at work um i'm probably fixing a place a supplement order at work and i'll order me a case of a couple things to keep me from saving some money because the caffeine and stimulant intake has definitely went up the last couple weeks. I've been trying to not let it be too bad, but I say it's went up. I do have an energy drink every day now, pretty much. Even on my rest day. Because like I'll be at home on Saturday and Saturday is my rest day. As soon as I eat something, I'm just like, <laughs> like I want to get up and be productive, but I get so sleepy. So I have been having one, but I've been having like a monster, which only has 150 milligrams of caffeine versus having a rain every day, which has 300 milligrams. So, you know, they're not all created equal. So I have been definitely being aware of how much caffeine I'm taking in. Um, Cause it's just a need lately. It's been, it's been rough. Um, and I wonder if me getting up so early to go train and get everything done, if that's harming me because I need to prioritize my carbs and stuff around my workout and I know that, but I refuse to get up even earlier to eat like a meal, you know, before I go train. So I just have like a, a rice cake with some turkey on top or a banana, like something that's, you know, just something fast and small. So I don't have the, the bulk of my carbs around my workout and I know I need to because my training is the most important part of my day. But I just love to get it done in the morning and I don't have to worry about it because my energy is so bad in the afternoon, but it may be kind of like a, it may be all correlated and connected. 
So I may start training in the afternoon a couple of days a week and see if that helps. We'll see. I might need to. But my boss also, like I started teaching this group fitness class on Wednesdays. And he wants to add another one on Monday at the same time at 5.15 in the afternoon. And he wants me to teach it. And I just don't want to. Like, <laughs> I just don't. Like, I work at a wellness center. You know, we have, we do rehab and stuff out of this wellness center. But we're also just a gym, you know, for the community. We have all these group fitness classes. Um, you know, we all kind of play different roles in our jobs. Like, we don't all just do one thing. Like, I'm not just a trainer. You know, I do rehab. I teach classes. I'm a wellness coach. Like, I help set people up on the equipment. Like, I do all these different things. So, like, part of I me mean, is part of my job, you know, and I want to obviously don't want prep to affect my job. But even before prep, like, teaching great fitness classes isn't really in my isn't the type of training I want to do. Like, I'm a bodybuilder. I need to train like a bodybuilder. Like, it's not really, doesn't mesh well with my training split. And it's like, I have to think about, you know, I want them to get a good workout. And I enjoy, I partly enjoy teaching class. Like, and I enjoy coming up with a good workout, putting people through it. You know, they feel like they've accomplished something at the end of it. And they enjoy it. Um, but my energy levels are so bad right now that I'm not the most motivating person either. And I'm not that kind of instructor that's like, let's go guys. Like, come on. Like, I'm more like, come on guys, let's go. Like, I'm just very, whatever. That's just how I am, period. But it's worse because I'm so tired. And I want to, I want to obviously give my all to them and be a good instructor. And I just feel like I can't right now. And he wants me to add another class and I just... I don't know. And I'm like, of course, this happened during prep. If I wasn't in prep, I might would feel different about it. You know, like I might I'm have more energy and feel better about it. But even outside of prep, it doesn't really fit into my training style. Like, it kind of messes up my workouts. And yes, I can do a lighter weight and not really go super intense where I get sore necessarily from it, which is kind of what I'm doing. Like, I'm just... I'm not trying to kill myself, but I am still instructing and doing the workout with them. Um, so there is ways I know I can play it that won't really mess with my schedule. But anyways, that's just what I'm having to deal with the last couple weeks. So I'm trying to give my all to my job and not let prep and my energy pull from it and it affect it. Which is hard to do. But we're going to keep pushing through. We're almost five weeks out, so we're going to keep doing it. So I'm going to finish eating this meal. I haven't finished it yet. And I'm going to head home finally and try to relax before I need to go to bed before tomorrow. Because today was my long day at work. So it's like normally if I can make it through Wednesday, I am I can do this. Because tomorrow I only work 8.30 to 2. Like it's a short day. And then Friday's 7.30 to 4. So I have shorter days, which is like, so if I can just get past...
hair looks kind of crazy, but it's okay. Um, just had a really good workout, got my cardio posing, everything done this morning. So we're almost at 10,000 steps and it's 8.15 in the morning. So we're getting our activity in early. I actually feel pretty good today. I went to bed at 9 a.m., got up at four. So we got seven hours of sleep though. So I feel pretty good. We'll see how my energy does throughout the day. But um, had a good lift, ate a little bit before my workout, trying to you know prioritize some carbs around my lift since I'm lifting so early. But I'm fixing to have my first meal. Um, this is normally my would be my lunch but it's got more carbs than my normal like protein cream of wheat that I normally do for breakfast. Um, so I figured I'd have this now to get more carbs in early in the day. So we just got seven ounces of chicken. I probably won't eat this whole thing cause I gotta hurry up and eat and get to work. And then six of these like potatoes, but they're sliced, but they're very good. Um, so I'm gonna stuff this down real quick as much as I can um, before I have to start work at 8.30. Um, have a short day today, not a lot of appointments, so it'll be kind of chill. So hopefully, even if I do feel good, um, it'll be kind of a relaxing day. Um, not as stressed or anything. So I'm going to fix and eat this, and I'll talk to you guys this afternoon. Alright, so I just got home from Walmart, so I was going to do a little bit of a grocery haul for y'all. This is pretty much everything I got for me. I did get some other things for Rex, but I won't really show y'all that. Um, but this is just kind of, kind of went crazy, you know. Um, anyways, so I'm going to show you what I got. So we're going to break down each little section. So over here, this side, we got all of our produce. So I kind of went ham on the veggies because obviously volume, I'm eating, you know, lower carbs. So I got a lot of different vegetables. We've got three bunches of asparagus, some, some cucumbers, some onion, mushrooms, the sweet potatoes that I showed y'all the other day. So these are the kind that you can microwave in the little wrapper. You know, and they just, they, they get done just like that. So I really like those. So I got three of those to have on my training day since I have some more carbs. And then we've got cabbage. Um, I made some cabbage the other day. I made a casserole for Easter and I had some leftovers. So I, had, I made some cabbage the other day just for me and I really liked it. So I've got another cabbage. We've got yellow squash, a thing of potatoes, um, cherry tomatoes, spinach, orange and red bell pepper. So went crazy with the produce, but I'm gonna eat it all. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna probably gonna make a stir fry with like mushroom, onion, bell pepper, um, maybe some cabbage in there as well. So I'll, I'll use it all up. It'll get used. So that's that. Um, so here, so this, I found this a while back. So these little soups. So yes, they're high in sodium. Um, all canned soup pretty much is, but for the whole container, it's only 60 calories two grams of fat, seven carb, and three protein. So it's just another like little volume hack just to kind of fill up your stomach. So I'll just another, I only got two of them. You know, I'm not gonna have them every day or anything, um, but I did get two of those. I got one bag of the Quest chips just to have a high protein snack one day. So like I said, this is another thing that's higher in sodium, but you know, it's, I'm not having it every day. So it's something I can have occasionally. Um, I found these. I've never had these before, but I saw them. So these are egg wraps with cauliflower. So it's only one gram of protein for the whole thing. Um, so no carb, no fat. So it's like a little crepe thing. I think I'm going to try because it doesn't say anything about like this, if it's seasoned. It's got sea salt in it and white pepper. But I'm thinking about, um, I'm going to try it right now, I think, for like a sweet treat for today. But I think I'm going to do... Take a couple of them, put some cinnamon and a little bit of maple syrup, like sugar-free maple syrup, just to have me a little sweet something because it's only one gram of protein. So I think I'm going to do that and try and see how it goes. Um, but I got some deli turkey. I showed you this in my last video. I love having this around just for easy protein source. Have it on top of a rice cake or just add it into a meal for some protein. Doesn't require much prep. Got two drink flavorings. So I already have a good bit of those. So I just got those two. Apple cinnamon rice cakes the jello stack um you know yep i will say i got the great value jello so i go to walmart for my groceries so i got the great value jello the brand jello is better i don't know why but they did not have any of the sugar-free like regular jello at all um so that's why i got the great value brand but the actual brand jello tastes better i don't know why but it does 
Um, so, now you're probably wondering what these three things are right back here. So, I've been making my protein ice cream. Y'all know that. I know I've been topping it with either like a crumbled up rice cake or some Rice Krispies. Uh, I finished off my Rice Krispies this morning actually with my first meal. Um, but I've been, I was thinking about getting like some different toppings. So this is what we found. So these are mini vanilla wafers. So for 20 wafers, that's the macros. So I'll probably have like a half a serving if I do it, but I, what I'm thinking I'm gonna crumble it up on top of my ice cream. And I was looking, you know, just for options. And then I got, I used to love these things, guys. Yes, they're Scooby-Doo, I don't even care, but they're so good. I used to love them. But they're all, a serving size is 30 grams for all of them. So I'll just probably gonna eat half a serving. Especially on my training days, I can fit these in, but just crumble them on top of my ice cream is like my little topping. And then the Cocoa Teddy Grahams. So yes, we're starting to crave things. Yes, I'm you know, wanting to look at things in the grocery store. I'm ready to start buying actual you know, things besides protein and veggies. So yes, it's kind of like a mental thing, but I'm still in control. Like I'm not going to overdo those. Like I'm not going to just start eating them at the box. I'm not to that point. We're still okay as far as not binging, you know. I'm not craving to that degree that I'm gonna go off plan and eat those. But that's just something, a little topping to put on top of my ice cream, just to have something different. Um, Cause I've been doing the Rice Krispies. Um, but yeah, so I was just looking and the macros are not terrible for those. So that's why I got those. Um, but anyways, that is that. So make sure this isn't falling. Um, so right back here, we've got just sauces. I've got the Carolina Gold Sugar-Free G Hughes that I've showed y'all before. Two grams of carbs for two tablespoons. So good there. No sugar added ketchup and sugar-free chocolate syrup. Again, topping for protein ice cream. So I've got those. I love these tuna packets. So I got the sweet, these are all sweet and spicy, but I love these. They are so good. The macros on them are great. Half fat, four carb, 16 protein for one packet. And they are very delicious. So they're easy on the go thing too. You know, just have your little spoon. You can eat that the packet. Um, only reason I got this is because it was on sale, but I'm probably gonna put it away like for baking. I'm not really gonna eat it right now anyways. But so the only reason I got this, so I started, I found um, a guy on YouTube. His name is Nick Dompierre. And he ate one of these on one of his cheat days. Um, I never heard the Mr. Beast bar, but the ingredients are very good for it to be a chocolate bar. So it's only got cane sugar, chocolate, cocoa butter, sea salt. So it's very like limited ingredients. And so for half the bar, that's the macros. I probably will not eat. I'm like I said, I may not really eat this anytime soon or anything. I just saw it and I've never seen it before. So that's why I got it. Anyway, so I'm starting to want food, guys. It's getting there, but we're, we're okay. For five weeks, we can do it. Over here, I've got almond milk, just my unsweetened almond milk that I have all the time. I've got, this is a pack of chicken breast. I've got some other chicken in the freezer that I'll show y'all in a minute. Um, but I got one pack of chicken breast. I need to prep that today. Got some spray butter. I normally get the, I can't believe it's not butter spray, but I did not have it. So I got this one. We've got more cans of tuna, cans of chicken breast, just for easy protein sources. So I do not have those on the regular. That is just in case I run out of, prep, run out of prepped chicken, prepped deer meat, and I just have those. Also use the chicken for recipes whenever I cook for Rex. Um, cream of wheat, just my kind in the packets that I always have. And then I was looking for protein bars and I've had the pure protein ones before and the macros are pretty good compared to other ones. So for one protein bar, four and a half fat, 17 carb, 21 protein. So it's lower in carbs and fat than a lot of other protein bars. So that's why I got chocolate deluxe and I did get the lemon cake. Again, this is stuff that I'm not really gonna eat right now maybe per se. But we're only five weeks away from off season. <laughs> I'm just, I'm wanting to buy things, guys. Oh, it's been a struggle. Um, just being honest, open and real with y'all. Um, I'm ready to 
we're getting ready to be in off season. I'm I'm really looking forward to this show and I'm really excited, but also I'm ready to live a little bit, be able to eat some different things, incorporate some more fun foods like this. Um, and it's like you get to a point in prep when you see something, it's like you want to buy it because you don't know if you're going to be able to find it again. You don't want to forget about it, which is crazy to think. I know, it's stupid. But anyways, that's where we are. But now I'm going to show you all the freezer. So I did get some drinks too. So just the normal Powerade Zero, Diet Pepsi, Sprite Zero. Then in the freezer, be prepared. It's large and full. Um, but I got a ton of the rice cauliflower. This is actually very good too. So this is like a medley. It tastes very like nutty, like from the mushrooms, nutty and meaty kind of, but it's very good. Um, that's another bag of frozen chicken breast, rice cauliflower, all the steamed green beans you could possibly imagine, all that. I got another bag of frozen strawberries for my ice cream at night. And I think that's it. And I did get a bag of shrimp. So I don't normally eat shrimp that much, but I got a bag of shrimp. So I'm gonna cook that just to have, just try something different. I really like shrimp. I just don't think about it. And it's, I mean, it's not the cheapest thing in the world. So I don't ever buy it that much, but I'm gonna prep that. But I just want to show y'all with y'all my little grocery haul. I'm probably going to go ahead and close this video out. I have no idea what's even recorded or what's in it. So we'll see. I'm sorry. It's not very organized. Um, we're just trying to make it through, guys. We're just trying to make it. Um, I was going to go to like the farmer's market in town and video that for y'all today. But they were actually gone to like a fest. Like the people, the main people that have stuff were gone to like a festival thing. So they were not there. Um, so there wasn't any, really anybody there. So, um, that's why I went to Walmart. Cause I would much prefer to buy my produce from, you know, local farmers, um, if I can. So, but we didn't today. So it's okay. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like it, comment down below, um, your favorite part of the video. I really appreciate all of y'all's support during this time. Um, y'all encourage me to keep making these videos since y'all like them and watch them. So thank you so much for your support. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not already um, so you don't miss another video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.